Good afternoon and welcome to Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Juneau, Alaska. Today we do a service of healing. We give thanks, O oh God, we give thanks. Call upon your name and declaring all your wonderful deeds. Let us confess our sins against God. O God of mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins through the Lord, grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all our goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. O God, be not far from us. Come quickly to help us, God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Let's say the canticle cadet together. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, nor destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Revelation. After this I looked, and there in heaven a door stood open, and the first voice, which I had heard speaking to like a trumpet, said, Come up here, and I will show you what you must take in after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and there in heaven stood a throne, with one seated on the throne. And the one seated there looks like jasper and cornelian. And around the throne was a rainbow that looks like an emerald. Around the throne are the 24 thrones. And seated on the, these thrones are the 24 elders, dressed in white robes with golden crowns on their heads. Coming from the throne are flashes of lightning and rumbling and peals of thunder. And in front of the throne burning seven flaming torches, which are the seven spirits of God. And in front of the throne, there is something like a sea of glass, like crystal. And around the throne and on each side of the throne are four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature like a lion, the second living creature like an ox, 
the third living creature with a face like a human face, and the fourth living creature like a flying eagle, and the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes all around and inside. Day and night, without ceasing, they sing, Holy, 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 the Lord God, the Almighty, who is, who was, who is, and is to come. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Benedictus, let's say this together. I will listen to what the Lord is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their heads to sin. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in them. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading from the Gospel of Luke. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning to the crowd that followed him, he said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When those who had been sent return to the house, they found the slave in good health. Soon afterwards, Jesus went to a town called Nin, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the great gate of the town, a man who had died was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow, and with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. When then he came forward and touched the white beard, and the bearer stood still. And Jesus said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear ceased all of them, and they began to glorify God, saying, A great prophet has arisen among us, and God has looked favorably on his people. The word about him spread throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. The disciples of John reported all these things to him. So John summons two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus had just then cured many people of diseases, plagues, and evil spirits, and given sight to many who were blind. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead are raised, the poor have good news brought to them, and blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thank Thanks. You, God. A healing, a litany of healing. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. Thank you, Sydney. 
God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord God. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and awareness of your presence. Hear us, us, O Lord God. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord God. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear Hear us, O Lord God. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord God. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord God. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us us and make us whole. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, give your blessing to the Diocese of Alaska, Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people 
and the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all that we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples, still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch out for all elders and brothers and, brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anne. If any are in time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in time of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we be your sons and daughters in the life to come. I invite your intercessions and prayers at this time. Amen. As we continue our Advent walk, we invite you to see the way of love as a journey that includes the community. The witness of Zachariah and Elizabeth who bring the infant Jesus to the temple to be circumcised reminds us of the importance of our faith community to sustain the way of love. Just as the community did for John, John's family, communities provide a place for discernment, sometimes challenging us and other times affirming <coughs> us. Communities celebrate and mark important moments along the journey. Each day we reflect on one of those seven practices of the way of love. Turn, learn, pray for Worship, bless, go, and rest. Pray along with the Collect for the Advent of Three. Yeah, would you read that? Thank you. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. I will this prayer guide you through the rest of this week. Set aside special time to focus on your intentions on stirring up peace and spreading joy. Today the church remembers Robert McDonnell, a priest of the church in the early 20th century. God of ice, sea, and sky, you called your servant Robert McDonnell and made him strong to endure all hardships for the sake of serving you in the Arctic. Send us forth as laborers into your harvest, that by patience in our duties and compassion in our dealings, many may be gathered into your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who's alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Live without fear. Your Creator has made you holy, has always protected you, 
and has loved you as a mother. Go in peace to follow the good road, and may God's blessing be with you always. Amen. Amen. May Christ our Redeemer bring us healing and wholeness. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you.